Hello everyone, I am Nabil Murad. In this demonstration, I'm going to use two different laptops because I want to show you a mind-blowing functionality. I copy from this one and I paste on the other one and vice versa. Let me show you how it works. So on the first computer, I open a new blank Word document. I'm going to generate some random text by using the randomizing function of Excel equal rand. I open and close bracket and hit enter and here is the random text. I want to copy it, then I select it and on the home tab I click on copy. Now I switch to the other laptop. On the other laptop I open a new Word document and on the home tab I click on paste. Et voila! Same text copied from one computer to the other computer. Let's try to do it in Excel. I open a new Excel workbook and I want to create a randomizing function equal render A and then I hit tab. I want let's say 10 rows comma. I want 7 columns comma. I want the min to be 25 comma and the max to be let's say 500. I close the bracket and I hit enter and I would have created a range of random numbers. Let's select this range and then I click on copy. I switch to the first computer. I open a new blank Excel workbook. That's my first computer and now I want to paste then I click on paste. Note that although I created a function, a render a function, on the other computer. Here it is pasting values. This functionality works with text and that's why I was able to copy from Word or Excel. But it won't copy pictures, it won't copy charts because this functionality is specific for text. I can also use it between browsers. So if I open a website on one machine, I can copy the URL and paste it on the other one. Let's do that. On this laptop, I opened my YouTube channel Office Instructor in a browser and I'm going to copy the URL. Control C to copy. I go to the other computer and I open a browser and I paste Control V. When I hit enter, I open the same link on either side. Let me show you how I set up this functionality. Both computers must be using the same Microsoft account. Both machines must be using Windows 11. And then I open the settings dialog box. The shortcut is Windows I. I click on system. I scroll down to clipboard. And here is the option. Sync across your devices. It should be turned on. I already have it on. And I select the first option, automatically sync text that I copy. So it's very clear, it's talking about text, not graphics, not charts. Once you have done that on each machine, then you are good to go. I don't know how am I going to edit this tutorial that I recorded on two machines. I need the help of my friend Oz de Soleil for doing it. But anyway, if you do not like this tip, and you don't want to see any more like this one, do not subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.